You know, the one that God elects is the one, as God leads him, if he hears from the Lord, he'll make the right decisions, amen, for the country. But also, even with that, is the body of people to get together and, and, and make that decision, amen. So you, United States may be aligned with other people, but it's still an independent country, amen. Praise the Lord. And I believe as the body of Christ, it's always good to connect with other people. But at the same time, God have a mission for you to do like you have a mission for us to do. And bottom line, we all have to be led by the Holy Spirit. And what God called you to do in your, your situation, what place he put you at. All of us have maybe different jobs to do, but it's all, you know, one in unity of what God wants done. And that includes the whole world. Amen. Praise the Lord. But us working together, we can get a lot done. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we thank the Lord for the opportunity to, to be in this position and um, to understand that we're led by the Holy Spirit in everything we do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I just wanted to um, start off today with Ephesians chapter 6. And the title of this message today is Words Are Spiritual. Words Are Spiritual. And when you think about words, they're everywhere. They're, uh, you, when you speak words, you read words, amen. The, the, the word of this Bible is full of words, amen, which Brother Ralph used, usually say that this is our life manual, amen. And it really is because what makes this different from all the books in the world is that this is living word directly from heaven from God. Amen. So if you really believe that there is a creator and there is, I don't see how you can't, you, you can look out there. I don't care the smartest person you think you may be. No, no man till this day have, have created the sun. No man till this day have created the clouds. Uh, amen. It's a creator. And that's God the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord who created all those things, he even created you and me. Amen. And how he created the body, how it functioned. We have many members to the body, but it all functioned as a body. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we, we serve the God who created the heavens and the earth, who sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus, he said, he's the way, the truth, and the life. And he says, nobody can come to my father. He's talking about the creator of heaven and earth, except through Jesus. Amen. So we know because of Jesus, he's our redeemer. And we receive him as our savior. Amen. Because, because that's the way God established it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I don't care how good a person may be. If you don't have Jesus Christ or accepted Jesus Christ as your savior, you're, you're not saved. Amen. The only way we can get saved is through Jesus Christ. It's not through our goodness or through what we call, we may think our righteousness is going to save us. There's nothing's going to save us. Only Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is what this church believe. Amen. Based on the word of God. We're a full gospel church. We believe fully in what the word of God says. We believe the word of God is a living word. Amen. And we believe we are not hearers only, but we're doers of the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that's what we, we, we believe in this church. Amen. We thank God for his word. Amen. But what I want to share with you is that words are spiritual. And when you think about words, a lot of times, if you really, really think about and understand what words are, you'll be very, very careful the words that you speak over yourself and the words that you speak over your family. Amen? Praise the Lord. So this question I had posed to my, some of my, the members of my family, they said, what are words? What are words? What are words? A good question. What are words? Have you ever thought about that question? What are words? We speak them, we read, we read them, we write them. Amen? But really, what are words? Amen. If you turn with me to John 6.63. Turn with me to John 6.63. Okay, these are the words spoken from Jesus in the word of God. John 6.63 says, It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. So Jesus was letting them know that the words that I speak to you, they're spirit and they're life. So we know words are spirit and they are our life. That's if you speak in the word of God, it's life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you turn with me, amen, to um, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. 
It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit of it. Amen? Death and life are in the power of your tongue. Amen? Death and life are in the power of your tongue. What does that mean? Death and life are in the power of your tongue. That means God has given you to me the power to speak death or life over a situation. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you, as a body of Christ, we should be speaking life over our families, over our, our church members, over our brothers and sisters. We should be speaking life over the people the Lord brings over in, into our lives. We should be speaking life over them. Amen? The only thing we speak um, words of spirit and death is through the devil and his works. Amen? We, 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 we um, bind the works of Satan. Amen? And we bind it and we curse it with the word of God, meaning that it, it is dead work. Amen. And we don't want to, it to operate in our, our lives, in our families' lives, or even in the church. Amen. Those are the words that we speak deaf to. Anything that the devil do, we come against it with the word of God. Amen. We see Jesus had to come against the things of the devil. And he says, um, if when you read Mark chapter 16, like Brother Ralph brings up a lot, he says, um, the works that we're going to do, we're going to go preach to the gospel to all the world. Amen. This is what we're supposed to be doing as a body of Christ. But he said, we will cast out devils and we cast them out through the word of God. Amen. We cast them out. We don't play with the things of the devil. We fight it violently with the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a violent fight in a spiritual realm and it's done through God's word. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you turn with me to Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, and it's going to again talk about words and what they can do. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 12. It says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So it's a sharp, it's like a sword. That's what the word of God is. Piercing even to the division of the soul and the spirit. The soul having to do with your will, your emotions. You know, having to do with the soulish power of man, how you think, you know, and the spirit, amen? And of the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That means the word of God can discern. It can discern. It can, it, it, it can discern what is going on. It's go, it goes deep, amen? In the spiritual realm, the word of God is a deep, operational, it's spiritual, Amen? Praise the Lord is living. The word of God is living. Amen. So when you, when God has given you and me the power to speak words, we got to watch how we speak. How we speak. We got to watch how we use words. Amen. It's not something that you take lightly. A lot of people just say a whole lot of nonchalant things. Not that you can't have fun. You know, I'm not saying that. But, but if you're speaking death over yourself and over your family, not really realizing what you're doing, it's, it's going to come to pass. Amen. There's times that People can say things that may take a while for it to happen, but after a while that thing happened. Then you, then you go back and say, well, wasn't he or she saying this or saying that? And that's exactly what happened. Amen? So we got to be careful with how we use words. Amen? It's authority in our words when we speak about faith according to God's word. We can speak words with authority and things happen. And I'll show you that in the Bible how different ones have spoke the word of God over certain things and things happen. Amen? Praise the Lord. So if you, if you look over here, um, what I also want to share with you, a lot of times this is what people try to do. They try to separate the spiritual realm from the physical realm. But what you got to understand that the spiritual realm operates with the physical realm. Amen? It, 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 whether you see the angels are here, and I thank God for the angels that are here on assignment in, in this church right now, some could be sitting down. Some could be floating in the air. I'm not sure what they're doing unless the Lord opened my spiritual eyes to see them, what they're doing here.